Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, today we're going to be doing something not majorly different than what I normally would do, but it's kind of, I don't really know what to call this video to be honest because I kind of know there's a concept out there on YouTube that people have done this, but I don't know what they're calling it. I'm sorry if this camera is rocking, but I really don't know how to make it any more stable. So, all we can hope for now is just that I'm not, well, I'm guessing. Anyway, yeah, so, I don't want to call this video, but basically, the concept is that I'm going to go to different fast food drive throughs and pick up the things that I like from the menu because there's like good stuff from each menu and I'd like it just to be in one one cohesive menu so just get us around this corner oh. yeah so basically it's just gonna be me picking the best things from each menu to make it a meal that I would like. So like, I like the fries from McDonald's, but then I like the fries from Burger King. But then, I like the burgers from Burger King. And I'm not that keen on the burgers from McDonald's because I'm just not. And obviously if you saw our last video, we found a hair in one of them, so that really put me off. Anyway, so I'm just going to wrap up this intro now because I think the camera is probably going to fall to its death. So that's the premise of the video. What I end up calling this video, I do not know because I can't find anything similar like it on YouTube. So we'll just have to see. Maybe it's an original concept, but I doubt it. Anyway, let's just get into the video. Can I take your order please? Yeah hiya, can I just get one of your crispy chicken club burgers on its own please? Wait, sorry? The crispy chicken club? Yeah. And that's it, thanks. Just on its own, yeah? Yeah. No problem. No second window, would you any left, Okay, thank you. Yeah, hiya. Yeah. Can I get one of your um, cherry Pepsis, please? What was that, sorry? A cherry Pepsi, please. Is there anything else? Yeah, can I also get one of your um, sour cherry crumbles, please? So you want a sour cherry mushroom? Yeah. What was the other one? Did you say you wanted a cherry max drink? Yes, please. Is there anything else? That's it, thank you. Drive right, on to the next one when you're ready, Thanks. please. Thank you. Hey, can I take your order? Yeah, hiya. Can I get um, a large fries, please? Yeah. And can I also get six nuggets, please? Yeah. Do you want a drink, Sarah? No drink, thanks. Anything um, out. And that's it, thanks. Sarah, then, please. Thank you. So, as you can probably have guessed, I'm back at home now. I'm not really ready to start eating food in my car, on the car park. Well, I do do that, but I'm just not about it today. So... Let's go through the things that I've picked and why I picked them. I'm not gonna make you all endure watching me eat every bit of it, but I will like give each bit a taste test and then you guys can tell me in the comments whether you think I picked the right stuff or what you guys would have picked. So, I'll start with the McDonald's. So, because if I don't eat the McDonald's now, they're just gonna turn to cardboard and taste like asscrack.com which we are not living for. I mean, already they're starting to taste a bit questionable. Hello, little friend. You don't eat fries. I chose the fries from McDonald's over the ones from Burger King, mainly because I think they've kind of got the edge, even though I do really like the ones from Burger King. McDonald's kind of have the edge with the fries. 
I probably would have got slated in the comments if I chose Burger King ones over these. So they're salty, just like me. Now I also got chicken nuggets because they are the bomb. I only got six of them because I have so much of the food to eat right now that we probably wouldn't make it through. So they haven't given me any sauces with this. They didn't ask me for any sauces. Which isn't the end of the world because I have backups for these kind of occasions where we do have sauces in the cupboard ready and waiting. So luckily, give me one second and I'll be back. You don't eat sweet and sour sauce. For it to be the perfect drive free meal for me, we'd have to have sweet and sour sauce. All the other sauces, I think, are just a bit redundant. I mean, oh yeah, that's just my personal preference. So I'll go. I don't think I actually know anyone that prefers any other sauce but sweet and sour. So, you guys let me know what sauces you would choose, if not this one. But with the fries and the nuggets from McDonald's, you can pretty much guarantee that they're not going to have hairs in. Whereas the burgers, I think it's going to take me a while to get over the hair in the burger. Boo boo, you don't eat those. None of this stuff's good for you. This stuff is terrible for you. I mean, it's terrible for me as well, but that's McDonald's. From Burger King, I brought a burger just because they're more expensive. I do find that it tastes really good. I don't think I've ever had a burger that I don't like from from Burger King, but it's just, they're always very soggy. <laughs> is that a word? I and mean, that is a word, but is that the word you would use? Not soggy, but I just like how much sauce and stuff they put on it. So I got the, well you heard at the window, I got the crispy chicken club, but I think I was trying to get the crispy chicken, just the normal one ended up with this so it's got bacon on it. It's got quite a lot of bacon on it actually. I don't know if you can see. So that's not something I would typically go for but it might be really good so I kind of made a bit of a mistake with that one. Got cheese, lettuce, tomato. That bacon's really smoky. I don't know if I like that or not. Well let's just try it. It does taste good. All the burgers just always taste good from there for some reason. I would definitely recommend this burger, actually. Even though I don't normally like bacon on my burgers, I really would recommend this one. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Definitely approve of that. So like I said, I'm not going to finish all the food on camera just because no one's going to really want to watch that. <clears throat> the last place I went to was KFC and I ordered a Cherry Pepsi, because I love anything cherry. So that's a given with that, that's gonna taste good. And I'm noticing that I actually like Pepsi over Coke. I never really noticed that before, but I had a Coke the other day and it tasted really awful. I just prefer the taste of Pepsi, so that's a thumbs up, obviously. And then the last thing I got was a sour cherry they say crush them, but it says crumble on the menu, so I'm guessing that it's the same thing. It's like a soft serve, a bit like a kind of milkshake, which I only discovered the other night that they actually do these at KFC. I didn't know before, and they are absolutely amazing. They, yeah, they're definitely a really good choice. How long they've been at KFC for and how long they'll stay, I'm not sure, but these are really good, I'd highly recommend these. Just to finish off your meal. Obviously the only problem with this is that buying things individually. I think the burger was, was it nearly about a five or something like that? And then what I got from McDonald's came to £4.58. And then with these two from KFC, that's like nearly 
that's like over eleven pounds for a meal, really. Which I think. I mean, is that good or bad with the dessert? I just don't know. And then factoring in all the driving around. So that is my perfect meal from the drive-throughs. I would have loved Taco Bell to have been on there, but I'm not about to drive all the way to Manchester, get out of my car and walk somewhere. I mean, I said that wasn't going to happen, but. Taco Bell definitely would have been high on my list of things to pick. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Like I say, I have no idea what I'm going to name this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next vlog. So thanks for watching. Bye.